Welcome to the Navigation Training Mission. In order to successfully complete this mission, the knowledge obtained during the taxi, takeoff, and landing training missions is required. Please pass those training missions first if you have not already done so. Before beginning this lesson, please get familiar with the commands listed below. Press spacebar to continue the mission. To complete this training mission, you will fly in adverse weather conditions from Kobuleti to Sukumi Airfield. The AN slash ARN6 radio compass will assist us in this mission. This device is a navigational aid, which has an indicator on the instrument panel and a control panel on the right console. The radio compass can be used to determine the magnetic bearing of an NDB and fly towards it or away from it. The flight plan is shown in Figure 1 of the briefing, or Left Alt B. Press spacebar to continue. The radio compass is supplied by the generator, which provides the required voltage only if the engine RPM is higher than 33%. Since today is a cloudy day, use the rheostats on the lighting control panel to make the gauges more readable. Set the radio compass function selector switch to the comp or compass position. In this position, the combined signals from both the directional loop and the non-directional wire antennas are fed into the receiver and the indicator will point to the station at all times automatically. Sukumi NDB is operating at 489 kHz. To be able to tune to this frequency, first set the frequency band switch to the 410 through 850 kHz range. Next, use the tuning curve to precisely set the frequency of 489 kHz. The exact value of the currently tuned frequency is indicated on the meter, or right shift and turn. The received signal strength is shown on the visual indicator, the tuning meter. Use it while tuning to match the receiver frequency as close as possible by tuning to a maximum deflection to the right of the tuning meter meter. The radio compass is tuned to the correct frequency when the tuning meter needle is deflected to a maximum and the correct call sign Morse code dot dash dot 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 dash for AV is heard in the headphones. The radio compass indicator needle then points to the direction of the signal transmitter. Call sign volume can be adjusted from the control panel by rotating the audio volume control knob. The instrument panel with the radio compass correctly tuned is shown in figure 2 of the briefing. Refer to the flight manual for another, more precise way of tuning, tuning by ear, when using the CW position of the CW voice switch. When the radio compass is correctly tuned to the required NDB, close the kneeboard with K and press space. Now enable external lighting and request taxi to the runway from the ATC. Turn on the navigation lights by setting the position and fuselage light selector switch to the steady or up position by right clicking on it or by pressing the key combination right alt, right shift and P. 
Set the taxi and landing light switch to the extend and on or up position by right clicking on it or using the key combination left alt, left shift and O. For communication with the ATC, the AN slash ARC 27 UHF radio is used. Enable it by setting the UHF power switch to the TR or transmit receive position. Use the UHF preset channel selector to select the preset channel of 7 corresponding to Cobaletti ATC. Use the mouse buttons or the keys, right shift and R, and right control and R. Open the radio menu by pressing backslash and request taxi to the runway. When permission is received, taxi to the left from the parking spot, take the runway and take off. To ease following a desired heading, for example the runway heading after takeoff, you can use the heading knob located in the lower left corner of the directional indicator, which rotates the heading scale. Set the desired heading and then keep the needle in the forward or 12 o'clock position. Take the runway and set the heading scale so that the heading needle points forward and keep it in that position while taking off.
Follow the takeoff heading and climb. After retraction of the gear and flaps, do not forget to also retract the landing lights. To do this, set the taxi and landing light switch to the retract or down position by pressing left alt, left shift, and L. Twice. Turn left to a heading of 340. Climb to an altitude of 4500 feet at a speed of 350 knots. Do not fly into the clouds. Follow the heading of 340 at an altitude of 4500 feet with a speed of 350 knots or roughly 80% RPM. Keep your attention mostly on the attitude indicator and the vertical velocity indicator, variometer, indicating current rate of climb and descent. Inspect other instruments only briefly to control required flight parameters and correct engine operation. You are approaching the turn to the landing glide path. Maintain a heading of 340 and watch the radio compass needle. It should approach the 295 degrees mark. Determine the moment of starting the turn towards the NDB on your own. Maintain the flight direction towards the NDB. The radio compass needle points straight up. To communicate with Sukumi Airfield, switch the AN slash ARC 27 to the second channel. Use the mouse or the keys, right shift and R, and right control and R. Atumi, in field, one, one, inbound. Oh, it's getting cloudy up here. Right, when visual on. contact with the runway is established, or following the ATC command, Start descending with a vertical speed of not more than a thousand feet per minute. Okay, I'm, I'm near then, so the airport's here somewhere. I heard it. There's the railway station. Oh, there we go. Decrease airspeed to 140 knots for land. Oh, got it now, got it, got it, got it, got it. Whoa, hold on. I need to get, I need to get fucking clearance. Fucking flying, oh there it is there, I ain't gonna get clearance, I'm just gonna land. After overflying the NDB, the radio compass needle will point in the opposite direction, indicating that the aircraft is now flying away from the transmitter. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep. 
I need to put my fucking gear down. Where are my flaps down, you fuck's sake? I'm gonna run out of fucking runway. Fuck it, I'll have to go round. That gives me time to.
Thank <laughs> you. 